I do believe here. Wanna keep going? Oh, damn, new enemy. Sorry. That's seriously a force of habit. But if you get off right here, we're now technically in Slay Him. And if you want to take the time to look, there's actually a lot of hidden items inside this desert. That was just me being really lucky. Let's see, I think there's one over here. I don't know where they are. all are off the top of my head. Now, at a certain point in the game, you actually get the ability to inject a special uh, device into your map scope, which allows you to see the uh, items that are hidden on the world map. Alright, so now let's do Aqua! And we'll punch the antlion because that's what antlions do. They need to get punched. They get punched. That's what antlions do. I suck at making jokes. Now I'm only assuming that Aqua hurts these guys because we're in a desert. And that makes sense to me. At least by, you know convoluted RPG logic. Awesome. So, right here we'll find Quarterly. And let's go inside. Alrighty then, uh, let's see. Now, there are shops here, but none of them are really labeled, so you're just going to have to go in and out of the houses until you find the, the shop you want to go into. Like, for example, here's the uh, weapons and equipment shop. Do I need any... Do I have any actual teleport gems? No, I don't. Alright. Alright, so I want to upgrade that. That. Ooh, it's been a while, so I'll go ahead and do that. That. Definitely that. That. And... Sell, 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 sell. Sell. And since I need money, sell. I'll keep my full revives for now, but uh, you need to be aware that if I I need to finish off that, don't I? Ugh. If I run out of money again, then well by God I will not be afraid to cannibalize my supply of items. Let's see. I don't think so. Here we have the hotel bridge. So nobody knows what Brad actually looks like? I guess we should count ourselves lucky then. Okay, so a suspicious looking group went for the desert. Alright.
Um. Uh, well. Okay. We're kind of busy. Don't go... Ah, I hate it when they do this in games. Meet Kanan. The one-eyed female exercising mercenary. Since she has a portrait, she also seems to know who we are. Oh, everybody, Brad's the only one that noticed that gentleman right there. It's kind of disturbing that she knew who we were. Kanan is somebody that we're going to have to watch out for. Definitely. Definitely. Huh, Brad is talking to someone suspicious. You know what, now that I think about it, what do we really know about Brad? Slayhim Castle is located at the northeastern edge of the Salt Flats. That wasn't really evasive. You're being suspicious, Brad. Stop it. Now, keep that in mind. The salt flats are haunted by ghosts. Meaning, they're undead. Who has a spell that, that targets undead? Oh, that's right. Tim has a spell called Turn Undead. So, what you want to do, actually, is... Sub Tim in. Even though... Put Brad in front because he's awesome. Even though Lilka got her level two spells uh, just now, we want to sub Tim in because you know turn undead. All right, what is this place? Personal skills. All right. Well, we have some skills to, to use. Yeah, why not? We'll max that out. For him. Max that out for him. Max that, well, fill that out for him. Hey, 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 hey! Stop bad mouthing them. Alright, arms upgrade. I haven't done dead or alive, like, at all. So, I'm going to do that now. One, two, three. Four. Alright. Now, when you're upgrading the lawnmower, I actually suggest you wait to upgrade it. When you upgrade the lawnmower, what I like to do is I like to split the nine upgrades between attack power and bullets. So I'll do, for example, you get nine upgrades, so that's four and five. So I'll do five attack power upgrades and four bullets. Now the reason you want to do extra bullets on here is because of the fact that the lawnmower really excels at taking out random encounters. So, you want to uh, have as many shots with it as you can. Don't worry about hit percentage because by the time it really becomes, I guess, 
a good idea to upgrade this. Brad will be above level 25, meaning he can start every fight using his lock-on ability. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Upgrade. And now I am broke! But that's okay. That's quite okay. Okay, let's see. What's in this house? Absolutely nothing. There's really no, uh, I don't think there's any hidden items in this town at all. Uh, no? What shady bunch of people? Are you talking about that one person that Brad talked to? Or maybe you're talking about Kanan. I keep wanting to call her Cannon, but it's pronounced Kanan. Anyway, if you go up here, there's an item. Get yourself a Vit Apple. Let's give that to Tim. All right, now if you go over here, all right, it's not there. You'll find another item, Ambrosia, and that's all the items I remember. So we need to go to the northeastern part of this place and this is one of the few times in the game there are no visual cues as to well maybe there is a visual cue yeah there is okay it's kind of hard to see up close but you may have noticed that the the thing was a little darker actually well, anyway, as far as I know, uh, Turn Undead works on every enemy in this castle and every enemy outside. So it's a good idea to actually uh, have Tim in your party and no Turn Undead. And I'm sorry if you just saw my mouse. But I accidentally uh, lost focus in my window here. And I'm pretty sure that actually makes things blurry. So, uh, apologize if there was any blurriness. Apologize for the mouse. Let's see. Alright, the first thing we want to do is explore the castle. See, what you're supposed to do is actually... Oh. Straighten the picture. You're supposed to go around the castle and trigger several... I guess scenes, flashbacks from Brad's past. Huh. By the way, I'm not controlling the text in those sequences. All right, grab a treasure chest containing a duplicator. So, huzzah. There is a suspicious lack of Kanan though, so I wonder where she is. All right, my microphone needs to quit doing that. Now you need to be careful while you're here because of the fact that some of these enemies actually have uh, oh shit what is it called instant death attacks and that's bad oh by the way turn undead totally has precedence so it doesn't matter that Tim is slow as hell oh wait no it doesn't I'm thinking this another spell. I'm sorry. It doesn't. Tim is just faster than everyone else because of the fact that uh, he's got the super speed. 
lightning guy on. Which is weird to have Tim that fast. Like, seriously, it's, it's throwing me off. Tim is usually the slowest character in the game. 